Hey guys, welcome back to Planet J Judah, and apparently I do like making these kinds of videos because here we are again. As you can tell from the title, we had an emergency trip to Joplin, and let me start off by saying everything is okay now, everybody is fine, we got through the emergency, but we did take an emergency trip to the ER and to Joplin. And so, Daryl and I went to go see Beetlejuice Beetlejuice on Saturday evening. Afterwards, we had gone to Walmart, and it was probably about 10-ish or so, I, sh I, I don't remember exactly. But we were on our way home, and Daryl's mom calls and said that she was having heart palpitations, and she needed to go to the emergency room. And I told her, we're on our way home. We will be there in just a moment. And fortunately, we didn't get very many things, items, whatever. Um, so Daryl was able to, as soon as we got home, he grabbed everything out of the car in one, t one trip. And she got in the car. And she and I went to the emergency room here where we live. And her heart's racing. We get in and they are hooking her up to everything and her heart is just like 180, 200, I, I don't know, is that beats per minute? I'm not sure, but uh, I don't, I'm not a medical person. I don't know all the terminology, but it was high. And so they're hooking her up to everything, getting her an IV started and getting ready to Give her medication that, as she says, is a jump start. So, like, it sounds like it, like, stops and then restarts your heart really fast. And, um, and that scared her. Or, actually, that, she's had it before. And it scares her. So, I'm in the ER, but I can't be right next to the table because they're working. Or the bed. Because they're working on her. So, she asks for a nurse to hold her hand, which I wish I could have been that person, but all the nurses, there was, I don't know how many people, there was a lot of people. Um, they were all really, really good and very caring. And so, of course, they're holding her hand and they give her the medication and they tell her to I think, take a deep breath and bear down like you're passing a bowel movement. <laughs> Um, sorry, I wanted to sneeze. <laughs> um, so they give it to her and nothing happens. So they up the dosage and give her a second dose. Again, nothing happens. They maintain the dosage at this point, but they give her a third uh, go, a third dose. And again, nothing happens. So at this point, they sedate her and they put these um, pads, this giant, they're about like this, probably, yeah, definitely the size, probably the size of my head. Um, they're electron, elect, electronic, I don't know. Um, kind of like those paddles, but in a sticker form. And they've got one put on her back and one right here on her chest. And they shock her to try and get her heart rate to slow down. And that didn't work. So they do it a second time. And that didn't quite work. And then they were going to do it a third time, but then her heart rate started, started to slow down. Um, but it wasn't fully. And so they gave her another kind of medication, like a beta blocker or something. I don't, honestly, this whole thing has been a whirlwind. And I, again, don't, I'm, I'm not a doctor. I don't know medical terms and everything was happening so fast. 
So at some point, because they've sedated her, let me jump back to a couple of weeks ago. I, I Two, three weeks ago, I'm not sure. We went into the emergency room for the same thing. Her heart's racing, heart palpitations. And um, she tells them it's her thyroid, yada. She's been having issues. She's got a thyroid disorder. And she's, I think at that point, already had a scheduled appointment to have a biopsy done. Now that is actually tomorrow, Monday, the 16th, that her biopsy is happening. Um, so I think at this point she's already scheduled for the biopsy, but um, they ask her, one of the first things they ask her is if she wants a DNR. And before I could even think, because I was at the ER that time, before I could even think of anything, she already says, yes, she wants a DNR. So flash forward to Saturday, yesterday, and Dave's got her hooked up to all these machines. She's now been shocked twice. They've sedated her, so she's not able to give that consent. Does she want a DNR or does she not? And uh, so they're asking me, because the last time she had gone, she requested a DNR, did I want to follow, you know, do the same thing? And immediately, of course, I say, no, <laughs> I don't want her to be, to have a DNR, but I know that she does. So I had to say yes, as much as I didn't want to. And so we're going, we're discussing this and I'm not sure if I said I was her daughter-in-law or what, but they also asked, I don't remember. I don't remember everything, but they asked to have me call my husband, her son, uh, Daryl, to confirm that yes, she does want a DNR. And so I step out of the room to call my husband. And at this point, I believe they gave her a third jolt and shocked her for the third and final time. And meanwhile, they're also discussing um, sending her to another hospital because our hospital doesn't have an on-site uh, cardiologist all the time. We have a cardiologist, but he's only there certain days out of the week. And not to mention the fact that this is well after hours. Uh, we're, we're talking by this time, it's probably 11, somewhere, somewhere around there, 11 p.m. And because I don't remember the third shock that she got. So it had to be when I was in the hallway calling uh, Daryl to confirm that, yes, she does want a DNR. So we do that. And... By this time, her heart rate really sl slows down. So they're getting a normal rhythm and we're, we're keeping at that normal rhythm. And they're asking me questions. They're wanting to know what hospital I want to transfer to. And I'm like, we've only been here two years. I don't know this area. I don't know where we want to send her. Uh, I was going to call my daughter-in-law who grew up here and my initial thought was Joplin and they were saying Freeman and this and Joplin and I've got all these things coming at me. So, excuse me, I have no clue what's kind of going on or where things are. And then... They're like, well, we need to call around and find out where we can send her. So that kind of took that question out of the equation. So I didn't have to figure out where we were going. It was just, we were going somewhere else because our 
local hospital didn't have all the nece necessary um, specialists to treat her properly. We, we live in a very small town. So I know that we're going to be life flighted and throughout this whole process I have been texting my mom and my sister Lara that I was in the OR, I was with, uh, that Mary was in the OR, I was with her, and then I updated she's going to be life flighted or meta flighted, however you want to say it, um, to Joplin, um, and then all this stuff. So, this next clip is my sister who was at Disneyland in California waiting for the tiki room. She was waiting in line for the tiki room. Checks in on us on the 360 app. We, we, we're in a circle uh, in the 360 app. That's a location app. And so she decides to check in on us and um, she decided to screen record this uh, us on the 360 app because it actually ended up being kind of cute and funny and actually helped lighten today with everything that was going on it helped to lighten the day and um, so this is Saturday for her we're going into Sunday because it's like after midnight because we left my house to go to Joplin around 1230 somewhere on there and so in this next clip I will do because Lara and I had a conversation and she was telling me what was going on and what her and her friend uh, Gail who is also my friend now but it's anyways I digress my brain is a little wee-hoo right now I've not been I haven't slept very well and they were discussing our trip on the 360 app because she... yeah anyways I am going to reenact her colorful colorful commentary with the video that she sent me so just a moment I will be right back after this cute and funny clip actually just kidding <laughs> I'm, I'm jumping up, jumping a little far ahead. Uh, let me get us to Joplin first. So, all of a sudden done, we're at the ER here in Kansas, and they're getting us ready to life flight her to Joplin, um, Freeman Hospital in Joplin. And so... Um, at this point I call Jared and Sammy and say hey I need someone to take me to Joplin because I can't drive myself I can drive I just don't know this area it's dark and I have trouble seeing at night so I can't take myself um, so they come over and I uh, I come home and we I start getting everything ready to take to Joplin. I needed to get a change of clothes um, and whatnot for mom and everything's going on and I'm explaining what's happened in the ER to Daryl and Jared and Sammy and then we get in the car and head to the hospital and we didn't know how long we were going to be there. We didn't know if, I mean, we obviously we thought that she was going to be there for a while, but we didn't know when we were going to get that information really tangible. So we head to Joplin. Jared and Sammy are driving me there. Uh, Daryl stayed home. 
which is totally fine because, you know, um, sorry, my, I'm a little, uh, it's been a rough day. <laughs> uh, Daryl doesn't deal well in hospitals, which is totally fine. And, you know, not everybody does. And he just, so he stayed home. Plus there was, we would have been crowded in the car. Although we all would have been able to fit. We just didn't know what, how long we were going to be there and what was going to happen. So Daryl stayed home. We went to, to the emergency or the hospital in Joplin. Now you're going to see a clip of our trip to Joplin. <laughs> And I'm going to reenact the colorful commentary that my sister provided me with because she just learned how to do a screen record but didn't didn't get the mic. I don't know. My my phone tells me media mic or media and mic and her phone I don't know what it tells her. So I think she just um recorded what she saw. So it didn't record what she was saying, what her and her friend were saying. And so, which that turned, it turned out to be something funny and it made everything a little lighthearted so that it really did help. So now enjoy the quick little clip of us driving to Joplin. And we're off. Never seen that before. Look at that little flame. They're going fast. Oh, Mary got left behind. What happened? Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. Oh, we're little putt putt now. Little putt putt. Oh, Mary got left behind again. Oh, there she is. Oh, there she is again. We lost Jared. Where'd Jared go? Oh, Mary got left behind again. Come on, Mary. Catch up. Oh, there she is. How's she get in front of you? Oh, leaving Mary behind again. Oh, now we're going fast. Come on, Jules. There she is. There's Mary. Woo, we're hauling. Oh, now we're going slow. Biking near Main Street. Biking? All right, so I hope you enjoyed that quick little clip of our drive to Joplin. Uh, I had to explain a little bit. I had Daryl's, um, my Mary's phone. I had her phone with me. So that's why she was in the trip. She wasn't with us because she was being hella, uh, life flight, li life flighted, meta flighted. She was in the air. She was flying. <laughs> so that's why her picture was in the video. Anyways, we are now in Joplin and, all right, sorry, my phone did its pop-up thing and I can't wait to get another one, hopefully soon, hopefully soon. <laughs> there, double cross. Uh, so we're, we're in Joplin now and she's in her room and they've gone over all the information from the hospital here in Kansas don't think that we are seeing the cardiologist yet, but we are seeing people. 
getting all information transferred from there to here or here from here to there <laughs> and so this is after two you know like after one o'clock in the morning that we are there she got there Oh, I don't remember. I, I would have to look at my phone, but I, I got called by one of the um, flight crew, one of the, either the pilot or the, one of the uh, flight nurses saying that she arrived and everything was good. So I don't know what time that was, but she was there probably give or take 30 minutes before we were 30, 40 minutes before we were, um, before we got there. And her heart rate has been calmed down at the hospital here in Can uh, in Kansas and has maintained, it maintained all through the flight and it's maintained in the hospital. We get there and her night nurse is explaining everything to us. And the gist of it was that if they could maintain her heart in normal rhythm, she would be able to go home today. Sunday uh, as long as she could keep calm and keep her heart rate normal and so that's the goal that's the goal because she doesn't want to be in the hospital any more than we want her to be in the hospital although we want answers right so she's gotten blood work done she's gotten all you know everything's but she's maintaining and we're there now it is Oh, I don't know. Before noon, when the uh, cardiologist came in and talked to us, and the way he described it or explained it is that he was the plumber for the heart, and her heart looks good, everything's fine. They think that her thyroid disorder is um, producing too much T4 hormone and is which is causing her heart to race so um, that's what they think is the connection but they still want her to come back and see the electrician uh, heart doctor <laughs> to make sure everything is copacetic elect electrically does that make sense? So uh, that doctor wasn't there. So we had the plumber. We needed to see the electrician. But they wanted, because she already had this appointment that's happening now tomorrow, Monday. Or, well, whenever you see this, Monday the, what is today? Today is the 15th. So Monday the 16th. I know I've already said that. But anyways, they really want her to keep that doctor's appointment. Because they electrician can't do anything until after that is done until we can get the thyroid situation more taken care of which that made perfect sense to us so he was saying her heart's good it's fine but there's you know there's the electrical side of it that could be causing some problems but it's probably mostly the thyroid so since she's had her um, rhythm normal this entire time that she's been there, the few hours, um, she, I, I think she got there about the time that we were leaving. I don't remember to be honest. Actually, no, we were on, we were on the road when I got the call. So never mind. I take that back. Um, I digress. So. We are being discharged because they really want her to keep this appointment for her uh, thyroid. So we're being discharged and everything looks good. She's maintained. Everything looks great. And so you will see next week our surprise trip to um, in Joplin because we decided since we were in Joplin we decided to go somewhere else 
and you'll see what that is next week. Sorry, you'll have to come back. Excuse me. So we're on our way home and everything's good. We get home and everybody's happy, copacetic, but we're all dead on our feet. Literally dead on our feet. Um, I think I had a grand total of hour and a half of sleep at the hospital today. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just couldn't sleep. Uh, Mary, my mommy-in-law, she probably had the most sleep because she slept. Uh, although, probably not because, you know, they have to come in and keep checking you. Anyways, anyways, I don't know who had the most sleep. I'm tired. I'm ready to end today and actually go to bed. Um, but we are all home. We're all okay. Mary has her doctor's appointment tomorrow to have the biopsy done. That's first thing in the morning. Uh, I will say my stomach is giving me issues, so uh, if you could send, say a prayer, whatever, um, I would greatly appreciate it because stress causes it, causes me to have issues, and I just don't need to deal with that. I need to take care of some other stuff, so um, if, if you could do that, that would be amazing. I don't want to say I hope you enjoyed today's video because it really wasn't a video that I wanted to do. Um, it was a very chaotic weekend. In the end, everything has worked out. I will post an update on, obviously we won't have all the information because her appointment's tomorrow and, you know, they have to run tests and everything. So I will keep you posted on how she's doing and whatnot and what information we get periodically. So it sounds weird to be asking this, but if you did like this video, hit the like button, uh, leave us a comment. We would greatly appreciate any prayers that you would like to send our way as my sister put in her little video, uh, which that really, really helped us because we just needed to have something funny to talk about in this incredibly serious situation. Um, it was very scary at times because I've never seen, I mean, I, I'll be honest, I've, you know, I've, I watch TV, I watch movies, I've watched people get shocked in the movies or on TV. I've not ever watched it in person. So that was, um, kind of traumatizing. It was hard to watch. Uh, but we made it through it. And we are all home safe and sound. And yeah, I uh, I hope that you have a really great day. And with that, remember, Gravity works, guys. <laughs>